Dear students, in previous videos, we have learned about forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystems and other ecosystems. Today, we are going to learn about very beautiful ecosystem that is aquatic ecosystem. Typical aquatic ecosystem is self-maintained, self-sustained, self-regulated system which is constituted by abiotic and biotic components in which dominant species are aquatic plants and aquatic animals means the plants and animals which can live and grow in water. The aquatic ecosystems can be classified into two groups mainly marine ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem. Marine ecosystems are those ecosystems in which water is salty in nature like ocean, sea, etc. In freshwater ecosystem, water is fresh like in the river, pond, lake, etc. Typical aquatic ecosystems, they can be classified basically it means into two freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem. Freshwater ecosystem can be stagnant or flowing. Example of the stagnant ecosystem is ponds, wetlands, whereas flowing ecosystem include rivers, streams, etc. Marine ecosystem includes brackish water like deltas and ocean. So if we study the structure of aquatic ecosystem, Typical aquatic ecosystem consists of three basic zones, upper zone, middle zone and basal zone. Upper zone is also called light zone or limnatic zone because it receives the maximum sunlight or solar radiations. That is the reason it is called light zone. Whereas middle zone is present in the center, it receives only diffused light, so it is also called diffused light zone or the littoral zone. At the base of any ecosystem, aquatic ecosystem, we are having basal zone where there is no availability of light, so it is also called dark zone or profundal zone. Because of no availability of light at the bottom of any water body, it is called dark zone. So, we can see any aquatic ecosystem has two basic components, abiotic and biotic components. So, in this diagram, you can see upper zone is receiving maximum sunlight, middle zone, diffuse sunlight and at the base, it is profundal zone. So, abiotic components of aquatic ecosystem, they include mainly inorganic and organic compounds. And it is mainly affected by various factors like heat, light, pH of the water, turbidity of the water, dissolved oxygen content, carbon dioxide level, amount of dissolved salts like calcium, phosphate and the nitrogen compounds etc. Whereas the biotic component include living components that is producers, consumers and decomposers. So producers can be green algae, consumers can be fishes, decomposers can be any kind of bacteria. So they vary from ecosystem to ecosystem. In freshwater ecosystem, it can be green algae. In marine ecosystem, it can be brown algae. So living components that is producers, consumers and decomposers, they varies from one aquatic ecosystem to the another aquatic ecosystem. So we can see in the stagnant aquatic ecosystem like pond, you can see in the diagram or picture that maximum phytoplanktons and zooplanktons are present in the upper zone because they are receiving maximum sunlight. So green algae form complete scum over the surface of the pond and it is covering it completely. So maximum growth is in the upper zone in the stagnant aquatic ecosystem like pond. Producers are, it means aquatic green algae in the pond. Consumers can be small insects which can eat the green algae or the fishes that feed upon the algae. 
whereas decomposers include bacteria and fungi. In case of fresh water flowing aquatic ecosystem where water flows like in rivers, streams. So we can see on the top of the river there is no life but maximum life is present in the middle zone. Whereas in the marine ecosystem like ocean, sea, you can see vast variety of the life forms at the bottom of the ocean that is in the dark zone. Brown algae and red algae are the producers in the marine ecosystem while bottom dwellers they include the crabs, oysters, corals, sea anemone. You can see beautiful life at the bottom of the ocean. The producers, consumers and decomposers, it means they are different in freshwater and marine ecosystem. But all the aquatic ecosystems they function automatically because of its abiotic and biotic components or we can say depending upon the producers they produce the food consumers consume the producers as the food and decomposers they break down the dead bodies of both plants and animals and they allow them decomposed or they allow their death and decay so we can see in this fresh flowing aquatic ecosystem life at the surface of the or upper zone of the aquatic ecosystem in the river is clean but in the middle portion there is maximum fishes similarly in the ocean these corals and beautiful fishes they are present at the bottom of the ocean so all these aquatic ecosystems they are very very important they play a very important role in the life of the mankind so let us study what is the importance of ecosystem the aquatic ecosystems are really of great significance to the mankind because of their utilization values they are of great use to the mankind so aquatic ecosystems like rivers streams they are source of fresh water for drinking and other domestic purposes for the human beings Aquatic ecosystems, they are source of food in the form of fishes for the humans. Waters of the rivers is also used for the production of the hydroelectric power that is renewable source of energy after the construction of the dams. Similarly, rivers are also source of water for the irrigation in the agriculture sector. That means agriculture sector is producing food for us. So, without water, no agriculture can be possible. So, wetlands are also source of recreational activities like boating, swimming, water parks, etc. We must conserve the water land. Above all, oceans, they provide vast variety of plants and animal species to the mankind. So, red algae, brown algae, corals and pearls, oysters, snails, shells, they are of great economic importance. So, but unfortunately, I am sorry to say aquatic ecosystems, particularly rivers and oceans, they are being polluted by the mankind day by day. So, we should restrict the human activities. We should not consider that oceans are the dumping ground for the solid waste. So, dumping of the solid waste and untreated sewage water should not be thrown into the water bodies. It is a serious threat to the aquatic ecosystems. Similarly, excessive use of the chemical fertilizers in the agricultural activities is also adding large amount of nitrogen content into the water bodies and it is leading to the death of the lakes and wetlands because it is leading to eutrophication. So, heavy toxic metals and the pesticides entering into the rivers and ponds are causing death of many aquatic plants and animals. So, there is a need to understand this thing that we have to conserve the aquatic ecosystems because without them we cannot survive. Wetlands and aquatic ecosystems, they should be saved by preventing the addition of pollutants from the industries. The aquatic ecosystem should be conserved to conserve the natural biodiversity because so much vast variety of aquatic life aquatic plants and animals are present in these freshwater ecosystems. Moreover, we can understand water crisis can be handled 
if we conserve all the aquatic ecosystems especially the rivers in a sustainable manner so in the end i can conclude aquatic ecosystems are of great importance to the mankind we must save our freshwater rivers because we have we have to meet up the demand of the water for the huge population of the mankind without water our life is not possible similarly we have to save the oceans we have to save the sea we, we, we should not make it as a dumping ground or the sewer we have to stop polluting the rivers and the oceans or the ponds and we have to maintain the wetlands for our own survival for our own sustainability i hope so all of you got this message you must take pledge to save all the aquatic ecosystems because all are of great importance to the mankind so i would like to conclude with this water is life so save water to save life save all the aquatic ecosystems to save the mankind i hope so you must have liked this video kindly share with your friends so that we can achieve the mission to save all the aquatic ecosystems thank you thank you very much